Hi there, I'm Dean Heskin, President and CEO of Swiss America Trading Corporation. For those of you who are subscribed to our podcast, you already knew that. Thanks for doing so. And if you haven't already subscribed to this podcast, please do so. Uh, the Secret War on Cash, what we talk about in this podcast are different things that are affecting all of our finances, our pocketbooks, the way we live our lives. Uh, and there's been no shortage of that here in the course of the last, well, we're getting close to a year now that we've been doing this podcast, but it has a, been a part of life for all of our life that it just seems to be that the money doesn't stretch as far as what we need it to. I have with me my frequent co-host, Chris Agalestos. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Hey, good to see you. Do, doing well. Chris is uh, freshly back from a his first cruise ever he took with his children who are mm -hmm. now grown, gone, and in college. They took a nice yeah. family trip to Alaska. You said it was great, yes? It, it, absolutely beautiful. But, you know, it doesn't take a lot to beat Arizona in the summer. So <laughs> pretty much any place would have been good and, and cooler. But, yeah, I mean, beautiful, beautiful part of the country. I, I think everybody should do it once. Well, Alaska in summer versus Arizona in the summer, I guess we could use the term polar opposites, and that would fit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yep. Well, welcome back. We had uh, Dr. Corsi with us uh, in your mm -hmm. absence, talking about a lot of good information and things yeah. that um, things have been going on. I mean, Chris, just because you were mm -hmm. away didn't mean that the economy and the market <laughs> slowed down or stopped. Imagine that. Uh, imagine that. The world didn't stop. <laughs> They, it didn't stop without you. Well, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to talk about in our first article here, Big Short. Big Short is a is a. There are three investors that mm -hmm. during the uh, big real estate pullback, they shorted it, shorted it and did extraordinarily well. And these investors, the Big Short investors, they are bullish on gold because mm -hmm. money is devaluing too quickly. They say. Now, Chris, I don't want to. I'm going to let you talk about this in a moment, but I, was, I thought yeah. about this leading up to this podcast. You know, we've talked about inflation. We talk about the dollar. We talk about how, you know, life just is not getting any less expensive. I was amazed. This weekend, I went to church, and after church, I was meeting my, my daughter and her husband and some friends to go play some golf. And don't think less of me, and I know you can tell everyone tuning in. I am normally a, a pretty regimented, pretty healthy eater. I like to kind of take care of myself. <laughs> yeah. But I was kind of clipped on time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to McDonald's and get, I've always loved an egg McMuffin. And I get the meal, the hash brown, which shouldn't probably eat that. But I, I'm like, full disclosure, I did. And an orange juice. So I'm going to quick preface. I text everybody, said, hey, does anybody need anything? They said they were fine. I, well, I'm not. I'm going to grab something. I'll see you here shortly. An egg McMuffin, hash brown. And an orange juice, thirteen dollars and fifty cents at a <laughs> yeah. McDonald's drive-through. Yeah. And we talk about it on this podcast in in very you know general terms, let's say. But I'm sitting there thinking to myself, that's it wasn't even that many years ago. And I, in fact, when I, I got to the course, I was talking to one of my friends. It wasn't even that many years ago that meal special was like five dollars, maybe even less. Probably less, 13. yeah. Thirteen fifty for one end of, and we're not talking about you know an array of food here. We're talking yeah. about an English uh, egg McMuffin mm -hmm. and a hash brown and some orange juice. Yeah. So like, what if you had like a family of four? You're talking to go a family of four to get that meager of a meal, we'll call it. Yeah, is going to cost the better part of nearly fifty dollars, over fifty dollars, yeah. for the, to eat that way. And it's no wonder why. And all these articles that we're talking about how, you know, families are struggling to keep up because yep. the, the cost of things has just gone through the roof. So yeah. the big short investors, they're bullish on gold because money is devaluing, devaluing too quickly. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little more about what they're talking about here. What's this mean? Yeah. And so uh, this is all pretty obvious stuff if you're paying attention to it. Um, but I think a lot of people... Um, well, you don't hear this on the mainstream media, right? So you're not going to hear it uh, day to day. And people talk about inflation, generally speaking. But, um, you know, they specifically point out, look, debt, uh, our debt has crossed $35 trillion, which, again, we're all desensitized to that. I mean, a trillion is so much money, I, I don't even know how much it is, right? $35 trillion, it's, it's almost like the numbers are so big that um, we, we really can't grasp the reality uh, of the situation and how bad it is. 
And like you discovered at McDonald's, they point out here, you know, that dollar bill that you had in your pocket yesterday is worth what today? You know, maybe 99 cents, um, maybe 98. You know, this is this is continuing to go on every single day. And over the years, it, it makes a big difference. And, uh, you know, they've been talking here that they, they unveiled. This is the first time I've heard these particular investors say this. But they say they've been buying the dips in gold um, consistently, almost every dip for the last four years. So, again, this isn't just an overnight thing that, that they've stumbled upon. We've been talking about the challenges uh, in the U.S. economy, the safety of the banking system, the, um, the budget, you know, never, never having a balanced budget essentially here in the U.S., continuing to increase our debt load. Um, all of these things, and uh, they've been, instead of talking about it, actually doing something about it and investing in, in gold. And they point out that gold has consistently, over, over history, uh, outperformed U.S. Treasuries. And bottom line is they feel it's a superior, a superior investment. And that's whether you're investing for one year, two years, three years, five years, ten years. They feel like gold is a, a safer, more stable uh, investment that isn't as volatile and uh, doesn't have the problems that, that the dollar uh, has and, and likely will continue to have. Sure. Well, and, you know, and, and this will come up actually in the, the next article we're going to look at, but you, you know, as you mentioned the, you know, the U S debt government debt, um, mm -hmm. you know, they, we just went from a year ago, we we're at uh, what was it? 32, 32 ish, 32 and change trillion. Mm -hmm. To where now we're at thirty four and change trillion. Yeah, that's like it's a it's a five percent jump in one year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to talk about something that I mean that the debt has been around our entire lifetime and it just continues to grow. And we've all we've talked about this before. We all get yeah. kind of numb to it. You know, mm -hmm. they're going to put a budget in place. They're going to lift the debt ceiling. All, all the things that they do. Yeah, a five percent bump in one year—that is crazy, absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. And yep. again, like you mentioned a moment ago, totally unsustainable. Mm -hmm. And so that's where you know you look at for those tuning in. If if you haven't, if you're an investor, big or small, and you have not yet positioned yourself in some form of metals, now is the time to do it. I mean, yeah. again, looking at the big short investors, they're doing it. Why do I say it's a time? Gold is sitting right now at twenty four hundred dollars an ounce, and there is a abundance of projections out there that by year's end are suggesting it'll be in excess of three thousand an ounce. So not only are you going to right. get some protection on your money, but there's going to be at those kind of at those kind of uh, um, gains or that kind of growth, there's going to be some very good appreciation on your money. So now yeah. let's move ahead to the, to the the second article here that we want to discuss today. I fear for our nation. And as the old expression goes, Chris, I think no truer words have ever been spoken. Mm -hmm. uh, this It is a very troubling time for our nation. I mean, not too, a few weeks ago, you know, we had the attempted assassination of, uh, you know, uh, former President Trump. Mm -hmm. We have been talking about how households are dealing with uh, bankruptcies and credit card debt and difficulty or challenges putting food on their table, uh, people having to go back people who are retired having to go back to work just to make their ends meet. And now, so as you look at this, those are all good reasons to fear for our nation, which I, yeah. I share that sentiment. So in this article, uh, Charles Smith or Charles Hugh Smith to be exact, gives a kind of a, a really interesting and, and historical breakdown of, you know, why he fears for our nation and in, in relation to, you know, what we've experienced in times past and how it looks today. So I know it's kind of a broad based question, but tell us a little yeah. bit about what he's getting into here, Chris. Well, what he was really doing um, is, is comparing the 70s, what we went through in the 70s to what we're going through now. And again, he, you know, he lays it all out there and it, it really does match up quite a bit. You know, there was a uh, uh, greatly elevated inflation uh, in the seventies, which, you know, was a devaluation of the dollar. You know, he points out how a, a dollar in the mid sixties, uh, uh, cost, uh, or something that cost a dollar in the mid sixties, excuse me, cost $3 by 1980. 
Um, you know, we're seeing levels of inflation similar to that uh, just just over the last couple of years here in the in the U.S. Um, there were a lot of unpredictable events and, and crises, a lot of domestic terrorism. You know, people people were unhappy. Um, you know, this was uh, coming out of uh, the the Vietnam uh, War uh, or conflict, right? Um, and uh, really, what he points out is we have a lot of those things happening. Today, we have a lot of conflict. We're very uh, fractured in, in this country in some of our political beliefs and, and our belief in what direction is, is correct for the country to be heading. And he points out that, unfortunately, like back then, uh, we were back then we were pretty resilient. We had a lot of other things in our favor. So even though we were dealing with uh, inflation and conflict and some of these other things, uh, we had good, strong industry in the United States. Uh, we had better, better health care, more affordable uh, health care. Um, we had a, a, a better sense of community than we do today. You know, more, more pride in, you know, uh, I'm an American. Uh, we can conquer this together, that sort of thing. And so we're going into a lot of the same challenges, but we don't have that resilience. I mean, we've, we have, very little industry here at home uh, in the U.S. compared to, to what we had. We have much higher debt levels and, and these fractured communities. And I, I think, you know, you mentioned the, the assassination attempt. I think that's just another example um, of how divisive uh, things are right now. And there's just a lot of tension and, and animosity in the air. So we, we have more financial challenges. Um, we're, we're in a... a you know, unarguably, I think for most people, a worse situation. And he's concerned about, you know, how, how we're going to come through that. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm optimistic and hopeful, and I hope we can, we can rally and, and pull things out because we were able to get to a better place by the nineties um, and even the early two thousands. But now, you know, here, here, look where we are. You also have to be realistic about the situation and, and uh, you know, pray for the best. But I, I think, Prepare for the worst, you know, much, much like the big short investors. People expect us to say, buy gold to go protect yourself because that's our industry. Well, these guys are out there to make money with their money and they're buying gold for, for protection and because they think it's the right move, uh, not because they're trying to convince others to buy it. And uh, I think people really need to pay attention to that and, you know, heed the warning and do something to protect right. yourself. Right. Right. Well, and they, you know, we've heard it when you talk about these unsustainable debt levels that we have, uh, they talk about the great reset where there's, you know, there's going to have to be a reset on it sooner or mm -hmm. later. And, and again, this has been a situation, a can that has been kicked down the road. But when you look at a single year increase of that 5%, it, that keeps going. I mean, there's, there is no, no way to avoid some kind of a quote reset it's right. because the, the math is just not there. I mean, we are looking at things speeding up in terms of, you know, how bad they're getting in terms of how weak our financial condition is. Mm -hmm. And not to say, look, it's not that the economy or our currency collapses or reboots or whatever it is that life as we know it ceases, but you do have to have yourself diversified in such a way. So if and when that occurs, you're not sitting there wondering why you can't get access to your bank account, go into your safe and grab your gold and convert that into right. whatever the currency of the day is. We can right. tell you more about that. If you like, if you have not contacted our office, please do so. We'll get you complimentary or free information on the gold market, our, our uh, secret war on cash report. You can, uh, we have information that'll show you how you can, uh, if you'd like to put some of your retirement funds through an IRA, even into gold, a lot of things that we can explain to you and at least wise get, get the explanation you need to find out if it's something that you should or shouldn't be doing for yourself and your family financially. So right. you can do that at 1-800-289-2646, or you can visit us online at www.swissamerica.com. Thank you all for tuning in. Can't wait to see you next time. And Chris, we appreciate all the input and information yeah. and look forward to having you again here shortly. Thank you. Take care.